Suicide has no boundaries, no age, no race, no gender. Approximately one million people die by suicide each year. He says we might lose the house and that I'd be better off without him? His comments are really scaring me. Thoughts of suicide occur during times of personal crisis, unrelenting stress, depression, or when we are confronted with a fear of failure or an unacceptable loss. Work, work, work. She can't seem to calm down for even a second. She looks like she's gonna jump right out of her skin. Suicide claims the lives of more than 75 Americans each day, or one person every 18 minutes. And for every life lost to suicide, dozens of people attempt suicide, often causing serious medical injury or even lifelong disability. He keeps saying there's no way I can understand what he's going through, what he's seen and what he's done. He says he's not the man he used to be. What's the point of living? Each year, millions of families, friends, colleagues, schoolmates, and coworkers experience the awful psychological and emotional aftermath of suicide. She's all stressed about school, college, her boyfriend, her parents' divorce, she says she just wants to go to sleep and never wake up. Many of these deaths occur among our children, children younger than 12 years old. And many more of them are teenagers or young adults, just as they begin their lives as college students, servicemen and women, or enter the workforce. She won't tell me what's wrong, but I think something bad happened to her. She's isolated herself from everyone. 25% of American youth have seriously considered suicide. My friend, he's always happy-go-lucky. But today, he asked me if 24 aspirin and a bottle of vodka would be lethal. Yet the highest suicide rate occurs among our oldest citizens. Since mom died, he keeps saying he wants to be with her. Now, suddenly he's kissing and hugging everyone, like he's saying goodbye. 90% of Americans who die by suicide are suffering from clinical depression, a form of diagnosable psychiatric illness, or a substance abuse disorder. This guy is constantly working. He just doesn't stop. Until one night, he tells me how empty and hollow he feels. Suicide is rarely an impulsive act. He made me swear not to tell anyone, but what if he really tries to do it? Suicide is preventable. She's been really depressed, and she's drinking a lot. I just don't know how I can help. The majority of those who attempt suicide provide us with some warning signs through their behavior, what they write, and what they say. Her friends are all gone. She keeps trying to give me her prized possessions, saying she won't be needing them. Listen closely. If you hear pain and hopelessness, call the Suicide Crisis Hotline for help at 866-317-9362 or text HOPELINE to 741741.